Hi, good evening all. The Amherst, they've done it again, folks. They've done it again. So let's talk about this, look at it, and uh, enjoy it because uh, I did some research. It's the first time uh, they've made it this far, folks, since 2003, 2004, where they lost that series four games to one. The last time they won this series was actually against Hershey. And they beat them four straight in 99-2000. So it's been a while since the Amherst have had a run like this. We might as well enjoy this. And uh, just go with it. Playoffs are a funny thing in sports. Anything can happen. So let's, let's take a look at what happened. Amherst sweep Marley's off to conference finals. And the header reads, as you see, the final, 8-4. My goodness, they're scoring a ton of goals right now. They couldn't score before, now they're scoring a ton. Shots on goal. 9-7 Amherst in the first, 16-14 Amherst in the second, 17-11 Marley's in the third. Marley's had the edge 38-36. Scoring. Holmberg opens it up for them at the 17 second mark. Ouch, not a good start, eh? When you think about, wow, 17 seconds, guys, 17 seconds. From a Clifford makes it 1-0 Marley's, but the Amherst bounce right back at the 305 mark. Ethan Prowl from Rusick and Warren ties it up 1-1. And minutes later, Olszewski from Warren and Metza makes it 2-1 at 633. Then Rusick at the 957 mark from Yost and Kulik makes it 3-1 Amherst after one. And second period, Kulik again from Rusick makes it four to one and the Amherst look like they're going to start running away with it here but Holmberg at 909 from Ellis and Clifford makes it four to two on the power play and the Amherst bounce right back Rosen from Pilot and Davies makes it uh, five to two and again the Amherst threatening to run away with it and again uh, the Marlies again Holmberg again from Shaw at 19.01, a last minute goal. Okay, we go to the third. Rosen from Yost and Kozak makes it 6 to 3 at the 9.45 mark. Then Niemela makes it uh, 6 to 4 to keep it a game still from Holberg and Ben. And that's as close as the Marlies would come. Murray on the power play makes it 7 to 4 from Ethan Prow and Kulik again. And then the empty netter, Barkowski. I forgot all about him. Barkowski from Rusick and Malone. And that was the series, folks. So let's take a look. Okay, this is the schedule upcoming. Okay, there you see it. The semifinals, the Hershey Bears and the Rochester Americans. And the best of seven starts on Tuesday night, 7 o'clock at Hershey. Then game two will be Thursday night at Hershey, then back home in Rochester on Saturday, then a two-day break Monday for game four, then game five will be Wednesday in Hershey. These are all if necessary games. Then Friday at Rochester, and if there is a game seven of the following Monday, June the 5th would be Rochester at Hershey. So, they actually have a serious run together here. They officially have went deep in the playoffs. This is really good for us. I mean, we got playoff hockey at least. And uh, let's take a look, guys. Let's look at the clip. So the Marlies will 
Anderson and Steve's for this face from the bigger bodies in Murray and Cedar Crisp. You know, Phil came back in last game and was really consistent in those games. Leading over the line to Warren, drops it off, the trader moving in, and they, they score! Yet, is where the puck is. 
there's still no signal. Oh, yeah, five and five. Pass up the right wing side in over the Rochester line, round behind the net. And off the stick of Shaw brought out in front, stuff in attempt. A big check at the side of the net. The Marlies have their hands in the air. There's no indication from a signal. Once ago, but that has now changed. Pass on top, moving in. Yao squeeze to his left. Sideboards, Kulik picks it up. Out top, Proud takes a shot. So that's it. They get it done. The Americans are off to the Final Four and they are four wins from the Calder Cup Final. So we will see what happens, guys, uh, soon enough in the next weeks to come. Of course, they're the underdogs going into the series, but uh, that seems to suit them fine so far. And what I see, I, it looks like there's a no pressure thing happening with the, with the Amherst right now. And we'll see if they get through the, the, the Bears in this series. and. Uh, 
get to the finals. I mean, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but let's enjoy this while it's happening, guys. All right, I'm going back to lie down. I'm going to edit this, put this out there. I'm going to watch what I can in that hockey game. I'm probably going to fall asleep even during that game. So I am out of it, guys, totally. I'll see you guys tomorrow.